On today's ChurchTechCast.com screencast show, converting lyrics for Media Shell and other worship software to ProPresenter format. Hi, and welcome again to the ChurchTechCast.com screencast show. This is the show where every week I help you with the software that we use in the church. My name's Paul Allen Clifford. So, you know that I'm a big fan of ProPresenter. Um, I've written extensively about it. I've done a lot of um, different things with ProPresenter. And one thing that I've run into is... A lot of people say, man, Paul, you've sold me on ProPresenter, which I don't get paid for. I, I just like this stuff. Um, but we're using MediaShout, or we're using some other worship software. So how can we convert our library over to that? Well, I've got a couple of solutions for you. First off, my general advice is I'm not sure you want to. Because in general, your church is going to do, what, three, four songs a weekend? Maybe six on the outside? Wouldn't you like to get past all the legacy content and just start fresh? But not everyone is convinced by that because, you know, your uh, libraries might be pretty big and extensive. My next thought is, well, just subscribe to Song Select, get what you need there. Again, a lot of churches don't like that as an option. But they have a big library in uh, the media shop format, or they have a big library in another format, and they want to convert it. Well, how do you do that? No problem. In my ProPresenter users group, which you can get to uh, at facebook.com slash groups slash ProPresenter users group, all one word, no punctuation whatsoever. Um, one of the people has found out, given that he is a web developer, he found out that MediaShout is storing all their stuff in a MySQL database. No problem, he can convert that. So he put together a little piece of software, and I'll leave a link in the show notes below. But let's say you're not using MediaShout. Let's say you're using other worship software. Uh, maybe Chord Pro or something uh, like that. I can't remember all the other worship software, but there are other pieces of software. Or let's say that you need to get your ProPresenter songs into one of these other formats. Then I've got another uh, option for you, and that is LyricConverter.com. So I thought that we would head over to my computer and I'd show these to you, and um, then we'll go from there. Okay, so this is the ProPresenter users group. And notice the address, facebook.com slash groups slash ProPresenter users group. And that will take you here. I notice there are some posts by me. Big discussion. In case you're interested, I just thought that I would offer that to you. One of the discussions from the ProPresenter users group was started by James Inglis here, and he is a programmer, and he noticed that the Easy Worship database is really just a, a SQLite 3 database. So, being that he's a web developer, he created some software to uh, take that database the Easy Worship 6.1 database and move it over to um, just a ProPresenter document. So here is his software. I there will be a link in the show notes, but this is over on GitHub. You just clone or download this, click that, download it, and then he has instructions down here on how to do this. I don't have an Easy Worship uh, 6.1 database right now, so I can't show you how to do it. What I can take you to is this other solution. Oh, by the way, I should mention that he also has lists 
of some other possibility possible uh, solutions here um, if you're uh, needing to deal with easy search open LP video song etc these are some optional ways of doing it as well this is another way of doing it lyricconverter.com and let's see if I have I think yeah here over here I have some ProPresenter song uh, files here. So, you'll notice it says uh, drag your song files here, Song Show Plus 7, ProPresenter 4 or 5, Song Pro or Chord Pro. So I can do that. And this might work in case uh, you need to go from ProPresenter 5 to ProPresenter 4, for example. So, Let's do this. Uh, this is Mighty Fortress is Our God, so I will just drag that over here and drop it. And it's done. So let's go ahead and download that. Show in Finder. I expect it to have the uh, .pro4 extension. There it is. Um, so if I had Pro4, I could open that up. I don't have Pro 4 on this machine, but that might be a useful uh, thing to do. It's also useful um, if you've got a text file or several text files and you need to convert them into uh, ProPresenter, etc., or vice versa. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do exactly the same thing. So let's reload this. let's say that your church is doing a joint worship service with someone else and they don't have ProPresenter, but all your stuff is located in ProPresenter. Just go to the ProPresenter directory. Um, in this case, it is my main drive, uh, users, my name, documents, ProPresenter 5. Um, you can export Pro 6 songs as Pro 5, so at least I believe that's the way you can do it. Anyway, all that to say, you can export them as plain text as well, but let's say that you don't want to do that. Uh, you can just grab these, and I'm going to move that off screen, and you can uh, put that there. Just realized I wanted to select plain text first, so Let's go back to this. Okay. And let's reload this. And tab. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to do. And then there we go. Okay. So now I can take it and I can go BAM! And I'm ready to download that. Now one thing that I haven't tried yet is the Just Display the Slides thing here. So I'm thinking that what that will do is it will take a ProPresenter document, Pro4 or Pro5, and just show what the slides look like. So let's reload it one more time and bring back up the finder window and let's do the same thing but this time choose just display the slides and look there you go it's showing you the slides as they're showing up in the database so that's a cool little feature too if you're not sure you want to actually show them on your machine or you're concerned maybe you don't have uh, Maybe you've got a Pro 4 song and you don't know if you want to bring that in because sometimes songs have similar lyrics. You could just go ahead and use this to see, oh yeah, this actually is the song that I want it to be. So you've got a bunch of options with this lyricconverter.com as well as the ability to use... Uh, this GitHub project if you start out with Easy Worship and you need to get that into ProPresenter 
5 or some other song database. I should also mention that the way this works, this is the entire database. The way this one works, it's individual songs. So this could be a uh, much bigger output file than just one Z2Z over here. But keep that in mind, that's a way to convert uh, from Easy Worship 6, Pro Presenter 4 and 5, Chord Pro, Song Pro, Plain Text, um, etc. Or, um, yeah, Song Pro, Chord Pro, etc. So that's not all the worship software on there, but that's a good start of how to convert legacy songs over for use in ProPresenter 5 or ProPresenter 6. Well, I hope that helps you. I hope that now you can see uh, just some ways to convert the lyrics from one program to another. That is one thing that I caution everyone to do, is as you're creating, uh, as you're deciding on software, see if you can get the words out at least as a text file, bare minimum. And um, I know the ProPresenter does that. Some of the others do it as well. It's just really helpful, should you ever want to move, to be able to get your content out. And that's uh, standard advice if you're going with a web hosting service or worship software or anything. You want to be able to get your content out should you need to move for whatever reason. If you like this content, you'd probably like my email newsletter, so head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash newsletter, and there you can pick up a copy of my email newsletter, where I'll send you um, some links to some free ProPresenter mini-courses that should help you out, along with some other great stuff. I'm uh, relaunching Church Tech U here very soon, so keep your eyes open for that, and know that I've got three courses, three paid courses that are helping out churches all over the world that I'd love for you to be a part of so that you can take your knowledge of ProPresenter to the next level. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com. Go out and change eternity. Music